linguistic truth or the truth of language and the illusions that language weaves because uh, someone quite intelligent said uh, language was invented so that people could lie in other words it, it gives you that fudge factor of obfuscation where someone says you know why did you do that well the best approach is I didn't do that you know you you thought I did that what you thought you saw you didn't see in other words uh, I suppose the that uh, lawyers are probably the people who have done the finest work with language uh, and and behind them politicians and the true potential for language to elevate and to unite the community was early on betrayed into the production of um, of illusion illusory and ideological goods which could then be marketed among the people and uh, to spread confusion psychedelics reflect on this because psychedelics stretch and pull and melt and recast the illusion producing machinery of language I mean I think that if you had to say the one thing that psychedelics do for everyone whether they have a good trip or a bad trip because it's up to them to interpret what they make of this is it shows you the relativity of your cultural viewpoint you know that it's just a it's just your point of view you inherited it from a, a, geolo a geographical area a culture a set of parents it has no relationship whatsoever to anything anchored in some kind of metaphysical superspace it's just your cultural point of view and travel actually does the same thing and I've always felt there was a weird affinity between psychedelics and travel and I suppose many people have or we wouldn't call it a trip and uh, you know we wouldn't call it a journey but travel shows you the relativity of culture and what's really happening when you travel you see is you're moving from one language domain to another we don't think of it that way but that is in fact what is happening you can never see the Amazon jungle if you keep intact the bubble of linguistic assumptions of the place you started out from every place will withhold its secrets from you I learned this in the Amazon because the first time I went I had virtually no botany and to me the jungle was green that's what it was and it was many shades of green and it was beautiful and it was this and that but it was basically green you know the cure the, the corrupting or curious thing about language is that like all tools it shapes its user in ways that are not suspected until it's too late so uh, in, for instance the way in which Western civilization is totally obsessed with the subject object relationship you know and it's the basis of our science our polity our relations to commerce the concept of product all of these things come out of the subject object relationship which is an aspect of language.